Hello Internet. In this video, I record how I create Premiere Keycap image for my DIY HMI keypad by Inkscape. Inkscape is a free vector graphics editor, which is suitable for icon creating. Use the browser to open this site, which will be listed in the description. Download and install the software. Open the software. In Document Properties, choose A4 as the page size. Select the rectangular tools in the left panel. Holding the control key, create a square by dragging. Select a favorite color of the square by left click. Holding the shift key, change the color of the stroke by left click. I choose no stroke by pressing shift and click the cross button. Change the unit to pixel. In my case, I use 96 times 96 pixels. I prefer a dark color for my keycaps. In the left panel, select the Edit Gradient button. Under the Fill and Stroke menu, choose the Fill tab. Then select the Linear Gradient button. Click the right point and and the F scroll bar change to a darker position. Click the right point and move it to the lower right corner. Change the opacity to 100%. Then, click the left point and change it to a brighter position in the L scroll bar. Move the left point to the upper left corner. Slide the L scroll bar to a desired position. As a result, brighter in the upper left corner and darker in the lower right corner. Next, select the text tool in the left panel. Type in the text and choose an appropriate font. I choose impact in my case. Change the text color by left click. I choose white color. Then I change the stroke to back by pressing the shift key and click. Change to an appropriate font size. In the left panel, choose the select tools and move the text to a desired vertical position.
change the stroke width if necessary. Then use the alignment tool. Select the text, then holding the shift key and select the square shape. On the relative toolbox, choose last selected. Then choose center on vertical axis. Use Explorer to open the PNG folder in the Install Premiere directory. Under the View menu, choose either large or medium icons. Use another Explorer to open the SVG folder. Move the window to the right side by pressing the Win key and right arrow. Search an icon you like in the left panel, remember its name. In the right window, search for a similar file name and open it by Inkscape. Use Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C copy from here. Paste it to the keycap file by Ctrl V. Close the SVG file. Change the color and the stroke of the image. And notch the MA by pressing the control key and drag. Select the image, then holding the shift key and select the square shape. And the relative to box. Choose last selected, then choose center on vertical axis. Group the text, image, and square. The first keycap is finished. Duplicate the keycap by Ctrl D. Move somewhere here. Check the snap corner button is on. Then I can snap the keycaps together. And group this keycap and use the text tool to modify the text. Align the text and the square by the alignment tool.
Look for the symbol in the left window. Open the SVG file in the right window. Press Ctrl A to select all and Ctrl C copy from here. Paste it to the keycap file by Ctrl V. Copy the style by this paste style command. Pull a guideline and locate it on the top of the adjacent shape. Add another guideline in the bottom. Delete this shape. Scale the shape by holding the control key and drag. Delete the guidelines by double click and select delete. Align the shape and the square by the alignment tool. Group this second keycap. Remember to close the Premiere SVG file. Repeat the same process. A few moments later. My keycaps is in 96 pixels for my HMI device. This method can change the pixel size of the keycap. Use the rectangular tool to draw a square. Adjust the pixel size of this square. In this example, I use 120 pixels. Press Ctrl C to copy this square. Then click on the keycap and use paste size onto it. This keycap is now in 120 pixels. Use Ctrl C to copy this square again. Select these four keycaps and use space size separately. Now these four keycaps are in 120 pixels. Now arrange the keycaps layout.
First, I change the page size into A3 in landscape mode. My HMI is in 480 times 800 in portrait mode. You are a rectangle with 480 times 600 pixels with no asteroid. Then move the keycaps onto the rectangle. Change the rectangle to the bottom layer. I put the most frequently used key in the lower portion. The Razer 2, C in Premiere. Selection 2, V in Premiere. Select the rectangle and change its color to white. Select all keycaps including the right rectangle. Export PNG image. Ensure in the selection tab. Choose the export path and file name. Press the export button here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.